So for the rest of your Friday, again, this morning, the focus on the frost and fog. So give yourself that extra time on your morning commute with these chilly temperatures. 46 degrees at noon. This is when those scattered showers, maybe rumble thunder too, will come into play. And then we're dry again later on. So really a roller coaster of a day here for this Friday. 52 degrees, though, as good as we get. Still below average for this time of year. We should be uh, in the mid 60s. Now overnight tonight, we'll drop back in the lower 30s. Our winds will calm throughout the overnight hours. Skies will clear and we'll again have that frost freeze potential. Now for Saturday, we do have a mix of sun and clouds as we kick off the weekend. Still cool, but we'll have some sunshine around. And Sunday, we have a little bit of debate of if we're going to see rain or not. We have a low pressure system that's setting up to our south. How far south or how far north is the question. This model I'm showing you keeps things just riding along our state line, but other models are pushing it a little bit more northward towards I-96. So we're going to keep an eye on this for you. I know it's Mother's Day, so it's an important forecast, but we're going to keep an eye on how far south or north that rain goes. So you can't forget about mom on Sunday. Many of you will have that mix of sun and clouds, especially along and north of I-96. As you get southward, you're going to see more cloud cover and potentially that rain. Temperatures, though, 56 degrees for the day. So here's your full seven day forecast. 55 tomorrow. Again, the overnight lows. We got to keep an eye on those. 56 on Mother's Day. And we'll let you know about that rain. Just keep checking back with us day by day. Next week, though, high pressure settles in. We'll slowly warm up and uh, notice it, especially as we get towards Wednesday and Thursday.